Hey guys, update on the 82 Chevy. And I know it's been a while since my last upload. But um, it seems like every year I go through this phase where I just want to work on the truck and do some things that I've been wanting to do to it. So here's what I got going on. Um, I had some custom long travel springs made by Off-Road Designs. And uh, they're making uh, new springs for the front and rear. So I should get those sometime next week. Now I decided to go that route instead of running like a longer spring up front like a 52 or a rear leaf springs in the front because I mean obviously that's the cheaper way to go and it works but the reason why I went with these custom springs is the stock you know rear leaf springs although you can get all the flex that you want out of them they're not designed to flex that much so these these long travel springs they are they're they're designed for the amount of travel that i want out of them and uh it's instead of using like three you know three or four thick leaves these use like multiple thin leaves so um uh i'm not sure how many leaves they're going to have because they're made for this truck when I ordered them they wanted to know what size engine I had transmission if I had any custom bumpers what I had on the rear they wanted to know all the weight because these springs are being made for this truck so to do that I'm gonna have to get uh, uh, the, the just the front require a 14 inch shock 14 inch travel shock so I ordered some uh, new shock hoops for the front right there. Those are for the front. And uh, there's the the 14 inch shocks for the front. I'm, I'm gonna already have 14 inch shocks for the rear. Hopefully those will be long enough because I also have a re revolver shackle in the rear. So I may have to go to a 16 inch shock. I'm not sure yet. But it's gonna be tricky in the front because on the driver's side, I have uh, the steering comes down right where I would need to run a shock. So it's going to be tricky trying to get figure that out. But I think with these shock hoops, I can have it come up just next to where the steering comes down. And have the tab coming off the side and then the shock coming down on the other side of the steering. So... It's going to be a little bit tricky, but I think I'll figure it out and um, let you guys know how that turned out. And also, I'm going to add rear hoops to the rear, or rear shock hoops for the rear, because just to get a better angle on the shock, instead of, you know, how, the, how they sit right now, I just want to get a better angle on it. That way I'm using as much as the shock as possible. So those will go on the rear. That'll be no problem getting those on. I got all the tabs, bolts I'm going to need. All the bushings for the, for the springs when they come in. And also, finally going to get this 205 transfer case put in. Um, the 208 I have is, it's done. So, um... I'm going to get this 205 in. This is the adapter for the 205 to uh, 700 transmission or 700, 700 transmission to a 205 transfer case. It needs to use this adapter because the output shaft on a 700 is longer than uh, the output shaft on a 350 or a 400. So... 700s they only came with 208 transfer cases so to um get a bolt a 203 or a 205 to it you need a you need a, a spacer basically to make up for the longer output shaft so that came with all the hardware for that and i also have my drive lines for that they're going to have to be probably uh cut down or maybe lengthened i'm not sure i'll get all the measurements once um, 
I get the, the 205 in there, I can get my measurements and uh, go from there. So there's all a bunch of goodies I got. And um, I'm gonna probably get start with the, I'm probably gonna start with the springs when I get them in. And then uh, um, get all these hoops welded into place, get the shocks mounted and then uh, get the 205 in and get my uh, drive lines fitted and um, get ready to do some wheeling in May. So um, stay tuned and uh, thanks for watching.